With our plane posture set, let's learn how to form the embouchure. The embouchure is a word we use to describe the collection of muscles in the face that interact with the saxophone mouthpiece and form the seal for the air that we're transferring from our body into the instrument. Bring your saxophone up again like we did in the last chapter and bring the reed to your bottom lip. Once you've made contact with the flat part of the reed and the bottom lip, just let it sit there for a second and notice the connection between the two. Now, keeping the friction between the reed and the bottom lip, roll the bottom lip in over your bottom teeth. Go ahead and remove your saxophone. We can approximate the same movement away from the instrument just by making a long V sound. V Again, my bottom lip is rolled in over my bottom teeth, and my top teeth held my bottom lip in place there. Go ahead and bring your saxophone back up again. Make contact between the reed and the bottom lip. Roll that bottom lip in. Now, place your top teeth on the top of the mouthpiece. At this point, the embouchure is still relaxed. I can still talk. Hello, how are you doing? We have one more thing to think about, the sides of the mouth. After we've rolled the bottom lip in, place the top piece on the mouthpiece, push the corners of the mouth in until they meet the sides of the mouthpiece. Think about this like a drawstring bag. As you pull the string, the bag opening closes at an equal rate on all sides. We don't want to bite the reed, but instead have equal pressure all the way around the mouth. In terms of where to place your teeth on top of the mouthpiece, take a look at the top of the mouthpiece. Place your pinky finger on top. A little less than one pinky finger's width is a good general guideline for where to place those top teeth. For this, it might be helpful to use a mirror. If you don't have one available, form your embouchure again. Now, take your right hand index finger and just mark where your top teeth have been placed on the mouthpiece. If you're in that general spot of one pinky finger's width, that's pretty good for now. To review, we're going to roll in the bottom lip, place the top teeth on the mouthpiece, push in the corners, and we're ready to go. One final note, my number one rule of saxophone playing once we've placed those top teeth on the mouthpiece, they're never going to come off, whether we're playing or we're breathing. We'll talk about that a little bit more later.